and we're going to go ahead and get started. So, oy, oy, oy. so thank you so much to everyone who is able to join us here from the LA Harbor College Transfer Center. Um, we are so happy to bring you TransferCon Volume 2 for Fall 2020, and this is our Transfer at Home Workshop. This is a workshop with the intention of helping you transfer at home, from home, or wherever it is that you use a computer. Uh, I hope that you're all having a wonderful day. And my name is Natalie Para. I'm a counselor at the Harbor College Transfer Center. And it is my ultimate goal to make sure that our students feel supported in the transfer process and they successfully transfer to the university of their dreams. And I'm here for you. Um, we'll go ahead and get started with all of our services. So going over our agenda really quickly, um, and of course, with our remote services, the intention is to bring the Transfer Center safely to you remotely through our services that we have online. So that includes our Connex Ed features. Our Connex Ed is our online virtual counseling, which the Transfer Center uses. Um, many of you, I'm sure, have met with me for an appointment using Connex Ed. If you haven't yet, um, you're always welcome to meet with me for a counseling appointment. So through Connex Ed, you're, avail you're able to chat with a counselor, attend counseling appointments, um, schedule appointments. We also have our Transfer Center Instagram, which I'm gonna be sharing with you, as well as our Harbor College website with our Transfer Center information there, and our amazing Grad Guru app that our students can download for all the transfer notifications and updates. So moving forward, we're gonna discuss the Transfer Center on Connex Ed, which is virtual counseling at its best. Um, I'm going to go ahead and exit my screen just to give you an idea of how it looks, okay? Give me one moment to do so. So, as you can see here, we're going to go to the Harbor College website, which is lahc.edu. Now, once you get to the Harbor College website, you can see here there's an online student services button in this corner. So, you can go ahead and click on it there. and it is going to prompt you to log in. In my case, I'm already logged in, so that's why it goes straight in, but you can log in using your LACCD SIS login. Um, when you see a counselor that's online, they will have a green light that turns on. So right now I'm online, so my students, if they log in, they would see that I'm online and they can chat with me. Um, as you can see, when you first enter, there are windows for various offices on campus. This includes our Outreach Welcome Center, which is a wonderful resource for new and returning students that need assistance with various troubleshooting topics. They're just a wonderful team. We have our EOPS office, which is extremely um, pro-transfer. They're transfer advocates for our students and they support our students um, who meet the income guidelines and qualifications. So if you would like to learn more about EOPS, you're welcome to connect with me after this workshop. I'm glad to make a referral for you to EOPS. Of course, our transfer center window. So if you're having any questions and you wanna know when's my next availability, or you wanna know about upcoming workshops, you can send a message to the transfer center and they will chat with you and answer those questions for you. We have our CalWORKs info um, window and they're another wonderful resource for our students. They especially um, support our students who are parents. International student information window, so our students who are on F1 visa. Um, special programs and services window, so for students who are interested in receiving accommodations based on their health related needs, whether it be psychological, physical, um, emotional, even test anxiety, things like that, you're welcome to reach out to the special programs and services office through this window here. So any office essentially that you're interested in learning more about or you want to receive support from, you can send them chat messages. You can just click on live chat here. Financial aid, another great one that they make themselves available for our students. And you'll be able to just, you know, ask them various questions that you might have. Now, as you can see, you can scroll through admissions, for example, CalWORKs, right, Harbor Advantage, but where is the transfer center? So the transfer center, this is in uh, a rough estimate alphabetical order. So you would actually have to scroll all the way down to T for transfer. But once you get to the transfer center, you can see I'm right here, um, counselor. So you can click on my live chat here to start chatting with me. Um, 
you can see that I have my phone number here. So if you need to reach my phone number, um, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. You can call me and this will ring to my cell phone. This is my office line. They were able to connect it to my cell phone. So this is my email here. You can also send me an email this way. And if you click on this calendar button, you can book an appointment with me. So all you do is click on the calendar and it won't let me schedule an appointment with myself, of course, but I can schedule with our director, Miss um, Marcella Hernandez, who's wonderful. So I can just click on that calendar and it'll show me a reason to meet with her. So let's say I want help with earning an associate degree for transfer. So I click on that one there and then it'll show me, let's say I wanna do a video meeting with her because I wanna do video chat. And then this is the earliest date. Okay, so I can see that I can make an appointment with her from five to six today. So that's a really helpful um, way to make appointments with our counselors. You can also select telephone meeting if you wanna do a phone meeting instead, perhaps, you know, that is just better suited for your needs. That's totally fine too. Extremely um, convenient though, I would say. And let's say you wanna make an appointment with me, but you don't have the patience to scroll through, or maybe your browser's really like giving you a hard time and there's kind of a lag. You can just type in my name in this search bar up here in this um, upper right-hand corner and hit search. So my last name is Para, P-A-R-R-A, -R -R and you'll be able to see that I come up right away. Now let's say you wanted to see someone from financial aid. You can search financial. And every single person that works in the financial aid office or has financial aid in their title, they'll come up. Same thing goes with, let's say you wanted to see a general counselor. So you can type in general. And then all of our wonderful general counselors appear too. So that's just another way for students to be able to find someone they're looking for. If you had questions about athletics too, that'll come up there. So that's exactly how it looks. And then let me see here. So moving forward. Our next thing that we want to cover today during this workshop is our Instagram. So some of my students really enjoy using Instagram and this is, you know, precisely the reason why we developed an Instagram account. A lot of care and time and energy does go into our Instagram. That's completely separate from time used to do appointments. Um, but our Instagram is used hand in hand with our counseling services to share information and news with our students. So I'm going to go ahead and show you our Instagram. This includes our um, username for Instagram, so you can follow us at LAHC Transfer Center, and we'll take a look together. So I'm actually gonna be utilizing Instagram on the desktop. So it's instagram.com slash LAHC Transfer Center. And as you can see, this is how our Instagram looks. So we actually just gained one follower. If it's you right now, thank you so much for following us. We currently have 517 followers, 170 posts. We don't follow our students because we want to respect our students' privacy and not be able to, you know, view content from their Instagram because that is all private for you. And we prefer to just keep that separate and let you have your space to do, to post whatever you want. Um, meanwhile, um, the Harbor College Transfer Center Instagram, LAHC Transfer Center, has a few different things that are, you know, meant to support our students and educate them, give them information that they need. So, for example, if you go here, this is our story. So, if you click on our story, it'll give you updates. So, our story this week is, it's Transfer Con Volume 2 Week. You can see here that today's workshops included a UC Berkeley Santa Barbara tour, our associate degree for transfer workshop. You're at our transfer at home workshop right now, and we're gonna have a transfer 101 workshop from six to seven today. You can also cl tip, uh, click on our link in bio or tap on our link in bio for um, the ability to register for any of the workshops that are happening today or at all this week. And then just a little update about the current um, horrible situation with the forest fires just giving students resources and information on how to prepare in the event that the 
um, that's needed for a student or their family. So we do keep a little bit of news related to transfer, sometimes related to safety, just because a lot has been going on lately. Um, so that's what our story looks like. And then you can also see our highlights. So these are these buttons up on the top. So you're welcome to look through any and all of them. Right now we have a TransferCon highlight up and it just shows how to register for TransferCon. Gives you all the updates on what to do. So you click on the link in bio there. You're able to tap to RSVP and it just shows you everything available. Um, it's also time that time of the year for UC transfer admission guarantee. So for students interested in transferring to a UC, you can tag a campus. You literally can just look through our highlight and you'll see all of the information on how to tag a UC campus, how many days left to tag a UC, transfer admission planner. It's just really helpful and we try to keep it informative, brief, um, easy to read, and then students are welcome to send us a message and I won't click on our actual messages because then you'll be able to see the confidential questions students are asking us, but you can send us a message. We do write back. Additionally, we have in our news feed different upcoming events. So this one is a flyer for the CSU Dominguez Hills Transfer to Success Program, which is a partnership that we have between Dominguez and Harbor in which our students essentially get VIP treatment at Dominguez when they transfer from Harbor to Dominguez. So the lovely CSUDH team is going to be joining us on Thursday at one o'clock. You're also welcome, like I said before, to RSVP with our link in bio. You would simply click here on our link in bio and scroll down. See how it says RSVP CSUDH transfer to success info session Thursday 9-17 at 1 p.m. So you can click on that and this will allow you to register for the event. Um, if you're not able to make it this upcoming Thursday, they also have another one on October 22nd, November 19th, and December 10th. So you're welcome to attend any or all of them. Um, additionally, as you can see at the, the next page over is our IGTV. So if you click on that, that will actually give you tutorials on all kinds of different um, needs that a student might have, and they are extremely popular with our students. So for example, this one, here is the UC application. It's been viewed 81 times and it just goes over the entire UC application from start to finish. This one goes over the UC transfer, just different information about UC transfer and encouraging students to apply. This one is all about the UC personal insight questions, which are the essay questions that you do have to turn in um, for your um, UC application. And then we have 191 views for our CSU application for spring 2021 admission. So students do watch these videos. Um, they really appreciate just having them there um, to help them review the material. Um, and they just think of it as like a mini informational session for them. And we are going to be uploading the current workshop that I'm presenting right now to IGTV for students to be able to enjoy if they weren't able to make it today. So if you're watching um, on IGTV or if you're joining us from YouTube, um, thank you for joining us as well through that outlet. We're going to go ahead and refer back to the slides. And then, of course, we have our Harbor College website, which is lahc.edu for our students. Um, so I'm going to walk you through how to access our Harbor College website. You can go to lahc.edu, just like that. And then you can go to four students. From there, you can go to Transfer Center under Services. And this is our Transfer Center website. So it includes our appointment link. So if you wanted to book an appointment with me, you could do so even through our Transfer Center website. Um, our wonderful director, our student services assistant, Mr. Jose Luna, um, our great team that we have at the Transfer Center. We just appreciate all of them and all of their hard work. Um, and then these buttons here include all kinds of different information for students. Um, and our, our team is actually working on updating our website and keeping it nice. When we're on campus, this is what our precious Transfer Center looks like. It is so... <sighs> so sweet to see a picture of our transfer center and I 
look forward to the day that we can return in person to resume live services for students. Um, but yeah, you can go ahead and look through the transfer resources that we have. So students interested in, for example, let's, let's click on it here. Like I said, our website is under update right now, but it just gives you information on the UC Transfer Admission of Planner, Cal State Apply, the UC application, the common application. If you have AP scores and you wanna know how your AP scores work for IGETC, we have the sheet right here and a counselor can go over them with you too to answer your questions, but it's right here for your convenience to be able to access. Um, same thing goes for the CSU GE. So if you wanna use your AP scores to meet general education for the CSU, that this um, is a sheet that you would be referring to as well. Um, financial aid information here. So we do try to keep our transfer center website um, just available with tools to help support you as well if you wanna do some research on your own time. Um, and then one moment. We have last but not least our Grad Guru app, which is a smartphone app. If you do not have Grad Guru on your phone yet, I highly recommend it. So what the Grad Guru app is, is it's an app that helps give students notifications, just essentially push notifications, right? Of what is coming up in the world of Harbor College and specifically transfer. So if you download the Grad Guru app, it does not take up any uh, memory on your phone, nor does it use your data. So that's a wonderful thing about it. And the counselors at Harbor College, the actually, actually the entire college, we all input the dates and the times. So it's not ran by an outside service that gives us all the news. It's actually the Harbor College Transfer Center and EOPS, just a new couple of departments that use GradGuru. But we input all the notifications and students can receive them. So that includes notifications for transfer deadlines, graduation information, upcoming activities. Students who have the GradGuru app, they got a notification today reminding them to join us for TransferCon and RSVP if they haven't done so yet. So that's the great thing about it. Um, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to open up this workshop for questions from our students. But before we open up our workshop um, for questions, I am going to stop sharing my, um, stop um, recording to avoid students' um, identity being shared when we stream this later on. Um, but I do wanna say thank you to all of our students who joined us. We appreciate you and I look forward to serving you at the Transfer Center. Have a wonderful day, stay safe, stay healthy, and take care.